Hi, and welcome to part three in our mini series Using the Modes. Phrygian is the third mode of the major scale and has the formula 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, and flat 7. So if we take any major scale and flatten the second, third, sixth, and seventh degrees, we will have a Phrygian scale. This mode is a minor mode and minor 7 flat 9 chords are often used to solo against because the flat 2 and the flat 9 are the same note. Once again, as we did with the Ionian and Dorian modes, we're looking at this mode with G being the root note. As Phrygian is the third mode, we need to find where the note G would be the third degree of a major scale. The diagram below shows us that G would be the third note of the E flat major scale. The E-flat major scale contains the notes E-flat, F, G, A-flat, B-flat, C, D and E-flat for our octave. The scale would be harmonised like this. E-flat major, F minor, G minor, A-flat major, B-flat major, C minor and D diminished. And if you need any more information about chord harmonisation, please see the link in the description. Just as we did in the previous two videos, we're going to take the four and the five chords, in this case A flat and B flat, and then put the root of the mode, G, in the bass. This will give us A flat over G and B flat over G. Once again, to reinforce the sound of the mode, we will be pedal toning the G root note of these chords. Here are those chords shown as chord diagrams and as tab. So let's start using these modes by learning the following five licks and practicing them against the backing track. Each of these five licks is followed by a one minute backing track and a longer version of this track can be found at the end of the video. Start each lick at a comfortable pace and then slowly work the speed up. Okay, so we're starting on the third fret of the E string here, and we're going to be hammering onto the fourth fret and doing a pull off back to the third fret. So now we're playing four on the B string, pulling off to three, hammering on again to four, and we're going to slide that to six. So we have. Now, with fingers 1 and 3, we're playing 5 and 7 on the G string as a hammer on. Onto the D string, we're playing 5, hammer to 6, pull off to 5. Now we're playing 6 on the A string, pulling off to 5, and sliding to 3. Hammer on to 5, and finish on the root note G, 3rd fret of the E string. So, super slowly we have this.
Okay, so we're going to be starting with the third fret to the fourth fret hammer on on the low E string. And pull off back to three. So we've got one E and. We then transfer that idea to frets five and six on the A string. Move that idea down to the D string, five, six, five. Across to the G string, we're playing seven, eight, seven. And finally on the B string, we're playing eight, nine, eight. So we have. Right, for this one we're starting on the 5th fret of the G string and we're going to do a full tone bend. And then play 5 when we come back down the bend. You've got to try and make this bend a little bit mournful. To the 3rd fret on the B string with our 1st finger and we're doing a half tone bend. And immediately we're going to slide to 8. So far we have. Reattacking the eight, we're gonna play a half bend there. Up and down, slide to the 11th fret. Now we're playing nine. Slide to six and slide to eight. So we have this. Oh, 
Okay, here's the next one. We're playing three, four, six on the E string with fingers one, two, and four. <laughs> then we're going to play frets three, five, and six with fingers one, three, and four on the A string. So, so far, we're just going through a Phrygian scale. Now we're playing three, hammer to six, and play five on that D string. The next bit is we're playing straight to the E string, we're playing six, pull off to three. Now we're going six, four, three on the B string, using pull offs. Hammer on to the four. Now we're going to slide directly to six without repicking and going to a half tone bend. So we have. Right, for this one we're starting in a G5 power chord, so we got our first finger on the 3rd fret of the E string, and our 5th fret is taken care of by the 3rd finger on that A string. So we're doing two down strikes, then a muted down strike. So you're just relaxing your fingers here, you're not taking them away, just relaxing them on the frets. Alright, or on the strings I should say. Move it forward one fret, do two more strikes, another mute, so we have. And then we're going to play this, we're leaving our first finger on that fourth fret of the E, and then we're playing our second finger on the fifth fret of the A, so we have. Now we're double stopping, or barring the fifth fret of the A with the fifth fret of the D. Another little mute there, so two strikes and a mute, just playing the A and the D. Our second finger goes on to that sixth fret of the D there. Okay. Two of each. And then we're going to do a three to five hammer on on the D string. So we have slowly, 